Hello everybody, welcome back to more of the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. I am Bogmont. We just finished uh, chapter one of the second chapter. Uh, yes. Ooh, achievement. I will save my singular file, because I like to live dangerously. Alright. So this is... Where is this? Oh, okay, this is still in town. And so the fete comes to an end, but the passion that's left in my heart still burns within me. Ah, my only source is to wait in the pale moonlight for the cold breeze of the sea to still my heated blood. Or a shower. Sorry to make you wait. Who could it be? Oh, hello. Perfect timing. You really are perfectly punctual, my friend. It would not hurt you to learn to be fashionably late, you know. Lawrence. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, but punctual is what I am. Now, what is your report? Though, let's not be so boorish and hurry, so yes. It has been a grand evening. Allow me to savor it a little longer. Really? I'll take that as a report of, I really like them, then. Ha! Like! That lovely princess has stolen even more of my heart. The miracle I yet live, I tell you. What more, I met a rival in the area of beauty and aesthetics. A rival, me! Ha 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 ha! I shall be quite busy in these next few weeks, I think. You really are hopeless. You are welcome to pursue your hobbies, but do not let it interfere with the plan. You need not worry on that score, my friend. On that note, here, take it! Very good. So, how did your experiments go? Got it. 90% success rate or so. The hologram projector can actively project for many hundreds of Zerg. <clears throat> the first two or so projections were miserable failures, I'm afraid. After the third, however, the device worked flawlessly. So some cause for concern, but not much. It does function. I'll report to the professor at once. That gospel. Truly! It's far beyond contemporary technology, but it don't simply mean it's a bit to negate ornaments. Ooh, what's this? I know it was made by the 13 factories, but how exactly does it work? I'm not sure. I'm not privy to the details. According to the professor, these phenomena are just the tip of a miracle. Oh, so it is the stuff of miracles, is it? Hmm. Miracles are the providence of she who dwells above alone. What does he mean, I wonder? Regardless, a few more experiments should should make the potential of the Gospels clear. With that... Hmm. Uh. Oh, we've had a number of unexpected actors coming onto the stage this night. How shall this cameo end, I wonder? <laughs> That's up to how our hidden mouse responds. Ta indeed. Come now, mouse, cry for us. <laughs> I'm not sure who that little mouse is, but your life is spared, it seems. Thank Alios for your life, rodent. Whee! Because we can fly in the night sky like ninjas. Blah, 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 blah. Bring all of them here. Okay. Make no more. I could, uh, 
I could have been a contender. But who dared spy on them? Oh. Oh ho. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you, Adios, Saints, and anyone else. I'm forgetting for saving your humble servant. <laughs> like I need to be told to give praise to the goddess, cause I'm a priest. <laughs> what monsters though. So those are the enforcers of Ouroboros, huh? Oh, Kevin, welcome back, buddy. The Raging Land. All right, chapter two of chapter two. Oh, sorry, chapter two of the second chapter. There we are. Okay, we're off to Zeiss. Anything else they want to do before we go? No, I don't think so. Unless you can think of anything, let's book. I can think of one piece of business. Where did Miss Dorothy go? She disappeared quite suddenly, and I'm curious as where she could have gone. I think she went to see Nail at the hotel. That's a good point. Do you think? Go say hi, and thanks before we leave her. Uh, yes, I think so too. We went through our lives, really. I could say goodbye to Mr. Trish and the children before we left as well, but I should call them for the guild a minute ago, and I think they're out. They are? Aww. I want to say goodbye too. We'll write them a letter when we get to Zeiss. They'll get a kick out of it. Which comes the worst thing too hard to get back here. Yes, that's true. Write them then. Hey, we'll, we'll write them. I would do too. Uh, well, come my friends. Let us away. To the pulsing heart of the Orbital Revolution and the seat of geniuses. Character. I'd get it, eh? Alright. <coughs> mm. No, sorry. My voice is a bit dry. Mm. Ah. You know, it's e you know, it's easy to record when like I'm doing some of my strategy games and so I can just talk normally. It's the switching voices all the time. Uh, that can really do a number on the old throat throat. Some people just have a throat. No, I've got the throat throat. There we are. <clears throat> Hello! Uh. Ah, it's you guys! I have to die there because I've solved a little gas problem. Yeah, we did, but... Is Dorothy okay? We have an undrowsy about that. Much was finished. Talked right out. Put her to bed. Oh, well, had a lot happen last night, and she saved our skins. I can't blame her for being kind of tired. Let her rest, okay? <clears throat> Reporter can go, good mate. That's safe. He's got a scoop. Oh, yeah. Stuff she was talking about sounded wild, but she didn't really explain it all. But if I ask you guys a few questions, sure, go ahead. I still gave Niall an outline of their encounter with Blue Blanc and answered his questions. Alright. I think you're good now. Son of a... Fan of B himself. He's liberal. He's kind of one of those rubbish people. Kind of wish I hadn't heard that. Yeah, fan of the... Yeah, yeah. I knew. What? Yeah, you know about that best weirdo? Oh, yeah. He's a famous thief. He's got to start in every major city on the continent. Want well, something? He'll get it. The thing's with a big old show. For a phantom. He's got a love of drama for that's for sure. Get it? Like fan of the opera. Ah! Hilarious. <laughs> yeah? Sounds like our weirdo, alright. He and Minnie's fan of the B from those cards, so. Like I said, though, the is one thing. He's also a lackey of the society. I think a rubbish would have use for someone like him. It's a time if they do. It's terrifying. Now, I'm curious. Do you intend to write an article about what had happened? Nah. You know, the Iron Royal Army has to be not to report anything to do with the society. Probably end up writing something on someone's internal crime of pleasure or something. With a coup d'etat foil, the kingdom is beginning to settle. I do see the wisdom in this. There's little sense in terrifying the public news of a dangerous secret society just yet. A man who can teleport and fly! 
project themselves, have untold technological advances, and more things man only wishes he knew. Yeah, that. I damn it, what is a reporter? I guess I can see where the government's coming from. Still, you now it's everyone. Yeah, of course. Anyway, we're off to Zeiss. All right. No nothing right up. So I get to see you off, but we're like Darley. No, it's okay. She's fast asleep, but I hate to disturb her. Give her a best. She gets up, okay? Will do. Be careful, guys. Hmm. That's an interesting question. Let me think about it. Say, like, the Illuminati was real. Not only were they real, but they had, like, superpowers. Or, like, stealth super jets that could be anywhere. Like, a floating base that could be anywhere. With weapons that could level a city at any time. What what use, on the one hand, would it, would it have to actually report that? Uh, I mean, you know, you know that you're listening to the news and like, and the seven o'clock news. Turns out there's a secret military organization that has the power to destroy any city at any time. Their motives unknown. Sleep well, everyone. It's like, eh. It's a little. The scope of it's a little different, right? It's a little different, I think, than having like when you find about just like you know terrorist groups or whatever like that, right? Because it's a different scale of things. Then again, well, I mean, ooh, that's a good question. If, would you want to hear a terrorist group that got their hands, actually getting their hands on a nuclear weapon? I mean, what, what good would the knowledge do you? <clears throat> Aside from causing panic. Oh, well. Uh, maybe I'm just secretly supporting a, the man now. Hmm, oh, well. Hello, person with green hair. Here you pet pet. Your braces right? Yeah, something wrong? I look kinda frazzled. There's something I'd like you to investigate urgently. Could you come right now? Yes. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, how are you? So, where should we go? To Norman's election office. It's the top floor of the hotel. Here, I'll show you the way. Okay. Okay. I'm telling you I didn't do it. Wait, but let me go home. I've got work to do. Now, now, calm down. Let's wait until the braces arrive. Once the investigation is done, you can leave. So we will see here they are. Hello. Just fast here, you. Yeah, I'd like to run into this some braces right away. This is Norman. You see him on the poster around the city. The guy's ready for mayor, I think. Mr. Bright, of the Bracer Guild. I got a Krosner, also a Bracer. Let's get to business, what happened? He compares Dells, it's injured by someone. In other words, it's an assault case. Assault? Oh, that's not a nice thing to hear. Is the victim okay? Yes, he's still here. Cut for a bit, but it was thankfully nothing serious. Phew, good to hear. There's nothing good about it. Back of my head still hurts like you wouldn't believe. Um, they get to fights all the time, Dells. I think they understand what pain is like. The back of your head, huh? Attack from behind? Yes, ma'am, right out of the blue, too. Taking a breather on the balcony. All of a sudden, from behind, thud. That's pretty foul. Ouch, sounds nasty. When did the attack happen? I guess we can remember with the events before and after. Should happen today just after lunch. I'm gonna know we're checking out a potential location for speech by that bridge. Cooper here just turned up then. When I talked to me, he said he had some important business. Norman. What kind of business? Portis told me to come apologize for the mess of the bridge. So like it's all my fault, but it just sort of make it worse. I see, so you came to say sorry for the scuffle. Yes, but Norman was still very busy at the time. I asked Cooper to wait in the office area. That's where I showed him to this room. I returned to the hotel not too long afterward. 
Here we go. Hmm. There is Dells and Curse of the Back. And Cooper was right there. Standing over him. Should I tell you, what does that make me the criminal? Well, it doesn't. It's already out cold when I reached the balcony. It's true. It is only natural to suspect him, given the circumstances. Uh, but suspicion is not proof. There's no one in this room but secret for Cooper and Dallas. Is that true? I don't know Cooper and his son watched us at the door and not entered until Norman got here. And hey, look at it, this means those two were alone. <coughs> you sure? Yeah, it's true, but it's like I said. I went out to the balcony, Dallas is already on the ground. Just saying your crime was committed before you got there. Did I get all that right? Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, thank God. He's finally, there's someone who gets it. In that case, you have to be someone who entered the room before Cooper. Dales, do you remember anything? It's possible someone came in. we have going to this all the time, though. I'm mad. I wouldn't have thought much of it. Hmm, fair enough. Select yourself, and so that makes sense. Hmm. Sounds simple enough, at least. There's got to be one of two people. This guy here. Someone who came into the room before him. There's nothing I doubt if we get enough proof. Then we gotta start questioning. If there's no other useful information, yeah. If you guys know something else or thinking of something, tell us now. Seems like nothing important. One more thing I'd like to add. There was something that occurred to me as I was looking through the room after the incident. There's signs of being rubbish around it? Not at all, just the opposite, in fact. It actually felt like it was cleaner than before. Huh? Let's see a cleaner on the loose. Hmm, one way to, to determine it would be as a disguise to have the fact the room had been searched. Of course, it appears they went too far, inadvertently arousing suspicion in the process. It's not a bad train of thought, yes. Or perhaps there's an accident with the cleaning maid. Incidentally, who are you? Bah. I was waiting for that question. I am a traveling bard, a poetic soul, wandering the wilds. A genius mule. Sure, but nothing's been stolen. Isn't the idea that the sky is pretty weak? This is it. I think there's any point where you want but I agree. Oh, Olivia. Poor Olivia. Don't worry, buddy. I love you. You've grown even bolder since our last rendezvous. Or oh, Estelle. Your turning of the lock was most fruitful. You're simply stunning. Uh, Olivia. Just ignore him. Now, if there's nothing else here you can tell us, we better get to questioning. That, yeah. Well, seems she knows what to start on the leash now. Good luck the investigation. Come, poor boss, you have an answer. Uh, good recounting on you to get to the bottom of this. How should we go about things? I mean, this hotel is pretty big. Do we split into two groups? You know, the princess makes some rounds. Why keep an eye on this dumbass? And so our assistance, yeah. Let's make him assist. Good point. Ready to kick some investigation, but Chloe? Huh, of course. Ah, assisting companions is only natural for a hunter of love. You yeah, sure don't miss a beat, do you? Alright, listen up. Did you gather information on the suspect first? You are an ask about Cooper? Something should turn up. Give me a picture on who our guy is, come tell me. So we should find the criminal. Go report to you. No problem. Let's see where we can find out. Alright. Well this seems like a good idea, take a little break. We'll come back soon and play some more. Thanks everyone for watching.